Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to learn how to do a simple wire wrap bead to hang from any earring that you want to make. Uh, I have two different ways of doing this today to show you. One of them is a ball end head pin. So this is just a pin. It's got a little ball on the end of it that you can put a bead on and if the hole in the bead is small enough, it'll stop the bead from falling off. And then you can just wrap that. Uh, if you don't have a head pin, then I'm going to show you how to use a piece of wire to make your own head pin. To do the wire wrap, what you want to do is put your pin in and push it up until it meets the bead. And then you're going to make a bend in the neck just a little bit away. So this little space that I'm leaving in here is space to wrap the wire around the top of that wire. So we're going to make a loop in this end and then bring that loop around and then wrap it around this little neck right here. So I'm just going to give that a little sort of 45 degree bend, maybe a little bit less. 90, that's a 90. I'm going to give this a little 90 degree bend, maybe a little bit less. And then I'm going to put it on my round nose pliers. Now what I want to do here is I want to gauge how big is the space, how big of a space do I need in this hole in order to get it on to the finding that I'm going to put it on. And so I'm going to put it on this finding. So I need to make this hole big enough to go around this loop. So I'm going to come up higher on my round nose pliers today. I'm going to come right around maybe two thirds of the way. And then I'm going to wrap the wire around the round nose pliers and then come all the way around. So it looks like this. Now I'm going to hold that loop with my round nose pliers and I'm going to push the tail around this neck now. And however many times it takes, it might take two or three, I might be able to get this wrapped around this neck all the way and I won't even have to trim it for this particular bead. And I'm just going to reach in with these chain nose pliers and pull that tip of the wire and tighten it down around this neck. So then I end up with this. And I'm going to do that twice because I'm making an earring. So I'm going to push it all the way up to the top and bend the neck 90 degrees. Come two thirds of the way up the round nose pliers. If you are not putting it on something that's got a bigger um, thing that the hole needs to go through, then you can make it smaller if you want. The other thing that I can do with these findings is I can actually open up that little tiny hoop and loop it through that and then close the hoop. But I'm also going to show you a different way you can do it. Okay, so let's see if it goes on the finding. I'm just gonna open that up a little bit, drop it on there, and then close it with my finger. It fits on great, just like that.
If you don't have a ball-in head pin, you can make your own head pin. And all you have to do is take the end of a, of a wire and you make sure that you have a wire that will go through your bead. So most stone beads, a 20 gauge wire won't work, but I like to use the largest size, the largest gauge of wire that I can that will fit on the bead because it just makes a stronger piece when it's finished. So I've double checked and, checked and made sure that this 20 gauge wire actually goes through the bead that I want to use. So I'm going to make the tiniest P-loop that I can on the end of this wire. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to bend it back so that, see how it's a, it's a P-loop? I'm going to bend it back so it sort of drops off the end of that wire rather than looking like a P. Just like that. And now I have a head pin that I can use. So for these, I'm going to use these little star-shaped Bali spacers. And I'm going to do the exact same thing I just did with the fluorite pieces. I'm going to leave a little neck. Bend 90 degrees. I'm going to go about halfway this time because I'm going to show you another thing you can do. And if you mastered this, then you've mastered the ability to hook these things together with other beads on wire wraps and make bracelets that hold together. So here, before I close this and wrap the neck, I'm actually going to open this just a little bit. You can see that, how I opened it. And I twisted it open. I didn't uh, pull it open. And then you can put it on your finding and have your finding hanging from it already when you close the loop. And that way, anything that you make, you can make it with closed loops. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing I did before, only this piece is now hanging from it. Wrap the tail around the neck. Here, because my wire is thicker, I'm only going to get about two loops around, and then I'm going to trim it as close to that neck as I can get it. and then come in with the chain nose pliers and wrap it tight against the neck. There you go. That's our skill for today. Now we can take these. I'm going to take this off because I wanted to show you how to put the whole earring together. And I may have to because I made this too small. Oh, nope, it's going to come off. Okay. So I'm going to put the fluorite piece on the finding we made last week and I'm going to lay them down so that I can make sure that the top loop is facing the opposite direction from each other and then I'm going to attach it to the ear wire. by twisting it open and then closed. And that is all there is to it. You can use any kind of bead you want. So I showed you how to do just a simple bead there's a stack. Here's another stack. It's just three pieces of labradorite that you can put on the end of your ball and head pin. Now go wild and play with it and send me pictures of what you make. Let's border this so I know where I am. 
am. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm ready.